Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome to another video from the Senha Segura Shorts. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a custom configuration for RDP sessions so that Senha Segura can call an RDP session through slash admin. This type of configuration is generally used for RDP sessions where the target device doesn't have any type of RDS licensing other than the Windows default. This way, when we don't set the correct pattern to perform the RDP session, even though the device has connectivity, we can successfully authenticate. For a more didactic example, I'll present my Windows Server 2016 settings. When performing the connectivity test, the device shows as connectable. However, when we start the session, we can receive two types of feedback from Sensegura. The first one is when the process is stuck in waiting, as if it didn't have any response from the server. And the second possibility, which is not the case in question, is when an error is returned, saying that the device has a connectivity problem. To get around this, we edit our device again and in the additional settings part, add a new remote session configuration, choose the RDP connectivity, and enter the parameter console in the second field and true in the third field and we save the configuration. This type of configuration is equivalent to the address type or code in the execute window like mstsc with slash admin. This way we can start an RDP session directly from the console of the device. Now let's call the session again to validate that the configuration was applied successfully and as expected, Windows started to deliver the RDP session through the console directly. Remember that this type of configuration will intercept the session of another user that may or may not be logged into this device and deliver the session at the exact point that the previous user was manipulating. Thanks for following along, subscribe to our channel to follow other videos like this one. Also, be sure to enable the cookies on your browser to be notified when a new video goes live. Leave in the comments your opinion, your feedback, your thoughts about this video. Thanks again for following along and see you next time.